Welcome my friends of the interwebs um, and this is going to be one of the last of the unboxing videos for the uh, charity I'm doing uh, for the Helping Hand charity. Uh, I had a, I, I don't mean to drag this out, out people, I had a few of my subscribers uh, get a hold of me and say hey look I promise you I've got my uh, donation in the mail can you hold tight and, and I did. So today Saturday I am uh, I'm going to do the last of the unboxing if anything shows up after this I'm just gonna have to either send it back to you or if you tell me to hold on to it for my next charity I'll do that it'll be up to you so um, I, I gotta get this over I gotta get this done so I'm gonna do the unboxing um, and then uh, I will do another video where we're counting up the money or I might even do that on this one I don't know um, and then um, let me think oh and then I'm gonna go get the, the bank check uh, and I'm going to do the final video, which will be me showing you the bank check uh, made out to um, the International Red Cross and also the drawing for first and second place. So everybody that donated will be in that drawing. And of course, first place is a t-shirt, Stephen's uh, book, these two knives. Second place is a t-shirt. Okay, Mad Bad Voodoo t-shirt, if you know what I'm talking about. You should know what I'm talking about. Uh, real quickly, though, before I start this, I posted a video last night that was a behind the scenes of my television show and I'll be honest with you I wasn't supposed to post that I I was putting it up as a private video and I made a mistake and uh, and didn't click the private so that really wasn't for public consumption I had promised the production company that I wouldn't be uh, YouTubing uh, any of the behind the scenes um, quite yet so um We'll just keep this our little secret. I've already privatized it, <laughs> you know. And uh, for those of you who got to see a little glimpse of behind the behind the scenes of the television show, um, you know, keep quiet. <laughs> Don't tell no one. Anyway, all right. Oh, and uh, Jeff uh, Cutler Lover wanted to know about this bell song. Oh, let's see if I can do this. I bought this when I was probably 14 or 15 years old, and um, of course, you know, like any 14 or 15 year old kid, this is about the mid 80s. Uh, I was digging on it, <laughs> you know, um, it's, it's not real expensive, I don't remember anymore what I paid for it, I used to be able to do all kinds of little tricky stuff with it, but um, it is what it is, I, uh, I ran into it the other day while looking for knives, so I have so many knives everywhere, um, well, you know, I might as well use this to uh, do some unboxing, put it to use after all these years, um, yeah, like 84, 85, I think I bought this. But um, I'm not a big bell song guy. Uh, we used to call them butterfly knives. <laughs> not a big butterfly knife. It was cool back then. I used to do nunchucks and all that stuff. You know, 14, 15 year old boys. But anyway, let's get the show on the road. This one here didn't have a name on the outside of the envelope. So hopefully they, they put a... Um, I need to sharpen this. It's having a hard time with the envelope. Um, hopefully they put their name on the inside. Let's see. Thanks for uh, all your work, MBV. Please keep the vids coming. Um, Wrecker1, R-E-C-K-E-R-1. -E awesome. $5 bill. I'm going to add this to the pile. By the way, here's here's the pile. It's uh, it's mostly stripper money. <laughs> but it's, I don't even know, to be honest with you. I haven't kept count where we're at money-wise. But a big props to uh, Wrecker1. You're a good man. Okay, Oregon Mikes, for all the voodoo you do. <laughs> Very cool. Let's see. Yeah, there, there is absolutely no blade or sharpness to this at all. Oregon Mikes. Okay, we got a business card. Oregon Mikes Adventures. He's got a website, OregonMikesAdventures.blogspot.com, um, YouTube, Oregon Mikes. You know what? Let me, where's my glasses at? Damn it. Shit. Sorry about that, Mike. <laughs> I don't know what I did with my glasses. Oh, wait, maybe this are it. Let's see what the small print says. I like to, um, to uh, shout out to, to my subscribers' businesses. I really do. I like that. That's why I like, it's, it's all about networking with the little guys. Pictures and stories from exploring the Oregon outdoors, uh, woodcraft, and camping, hiking, Oregon history, and finding of stuff. <laughs> Very cool. Oregon Mike. Check out his website. He's a cool dude. 
He is a cool dude. And we got pictures. Oh, wait, I think there's more. There is more. Okay, now a question for you. <laughs> All right, wait, I guess I should start. Talking. I swear I would never give any money to the Red Cross after what they did in the days after 9 11. But I am not giving them money. Uh, you are. All right, well, there you go. So here is some love for all of the voodoo that you do. Don't be closing up shop and leaving YouTube anytime soon. I don't plan to, that's for sure. Now a question for you. I was recently in Southern Ohio at Dave Can Canterbury's Pathfinder uh, Gathering and spent some extra days exploring Kentucky and Indiana. I saw lots of places named XXX Lake, XXX Pike, XXX Run. We don't have those in Oregon, so what is a lake, a run, and a pike? I had received different answers from different folks. In close, please find one dollar and a pick of me in Kentucky. It's okay if you show if you want Oregon Mike. Uh, you know, I don't know. I live next to uh, Flat Lick, Kentucky, um, though I know there's other Flat Licks around. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know what, what is a lick of pike or run. <laughs> to answer your question, I have no idea. Big Bone Lick State Park. Cool. Don't know that that's the park that I'd be going to, but <laughs> Mike, you look like you're having a good time. Yeah, sorry I couldn't answer that. I just, I don't know. I never really put any thought into it. Now, uh, this one's from Buddy Craig. Now, this is a man who has a lot of faith in the employees uh, at the uh, United States Postal Service. <laughs> he literally sends money <laughs> that you can see clearly. How funny is that? Buddy Craig for the win. Um, I'm glad he didn't put his address up here because I, I really did want to show everybody because there are a lot of people who, who hate sending money through the mail and I, truthfully I'm one of them. Um, I hate sending money through the mail myself. Um, but it got here. Maybe that maybe they thought this was a test <laughs> and they didn't dare take it. Okay, there's no message in there but there's two dollars. Buddy Craig, you are the man. A woman's world, one, two, three. It is a woman's world. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> it's a fact. You know, I think I'm going to give up on that. Uh, I know i got to have, where's my Kershaw? Trusty Kershaw. There we go. Yeah, it's much more suited for this type of work. But you know what? The bow sound got some much needed exercise after 25 years. Woman's World One Two Three, we got a dollar. Okay, now to uh, now, all right, new to YouTube. I'm sorry, new to YouTube. Um, stumbled across your channel and the Helping Hand video. I think this is an awesome thing done for um, done for others. Uh, others by a good man. Uh, thanks for using your channel for something other than uh, the norm. God bless. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I really do. I really appreciate that. Um, and I will definitely check out your channel if I haven't done so already. It's hard to keep track of, uh, of all the subs and all the videos. And it's gotten to the point now, you know, and I think most anybody on YouTube that gets over a thousand subscribers knows it becomes quite a challenge to keep up with everybody. But, uh, Lord knows I try. <laughs> and by the way, you know, I wanted to touch a little bit on the International Red Cross or the Red Cross in general. Um, you know, it was one of those things when Stephen Hayes and I first started talking about doing some good. Because he lived in uh, the UK and I lived in um, the United States, um, we really didn't want to do a... Um, you know, a, a contest, or I should say contest. We didn't want to do a charity that was uh, specific to either one of our countries. And it was just one of those things, um, you know, yeah. And I, I can't say that I'm a huge fan of the International Red Cross, but to be honest with you, when you're talking about international aid agencies, you know, they're probably as good as any of them. You know, I, I, I don't know, you know, but I am for, um, I had one guy actually leave a comment on one of my videos talking about if you want to do real good with money, you know, give it to churches and stuff like that. And there are some churches that do some really good work. And then there are some churches that do not. <laughs> so um, I'm going to try to in my next, uh, and I don't know when I'm going to do another uh, um, charity video, but I'm going to try to do something more geared towards Southeast Kentucky, which most of you know is near and dear to my heart something in Appalachia, so um, 
Anyway, I don't know that my international friends will care to donate to that. Hopefully they will. And then maybe down the road I'll do something more specific to one of my subs' uh, uh, countries. You know, so charity is charity. You know, you just do the best you can. You try to help. That's all you do. All right, Glock Animal. He's been a sub mine for a long time. At least it seems like a long time. Um, a long time in YouTube terms, I guess. Glock Animal. Okay. One buck for the cause. Glock Animal. You're an awesome dude, my friend. Awesome dude. Alrighty. Gun websites. Now, by the way, uh, he he was one of those that um, asked me to hold tight that he was sending his money. Um, this guy's a really cool dude. It's, it's actually, I think it's a few guys. They're very big supporters of the community. Um, and that I appreciate. Everybody who knows me or has known me for any length of time know that I'm a huge supporter of the YouTube community and I'm a big supporter of helping others and, and all that good stuff. Um, our gun websites, is, is they're quality people. They really are. They put up a ton of vids. Sometimes it gets me a little crazy, but um, they always put up good vids. I mean, if you get a chance to watch one of their videos, watch them. Um, yeah, this is a quality channel and uh, just quality people all around. Can't say enough good about them. Um, and I've known them for a long, long time. It, well, at least it seems like a long, long time. But um, they're generous people, um, and they're, uh, yeah, they're just good people. Yeah, just good people. For the Flood, $20. That is awesome, $20. Okay, and what time, are we, where are we at time-wise? Well, we're at 12 minutes. I'm not going to have time to count it. I'm going to uh, make another video, I think, immediately after I shut this one off. And I'm going to count up the money. And then um, I don't know how long after this one I'll post it. By the way, I'm leaving. <coughs> I have to go out of town for a little while. I'm leaving Monday morning. I won't be back for a few days. So the final video probably won't be posted till either Wednesday or Thursday or Friday, somewhere around in that time frame. And, uh, and I'm talking about the one where I do the drawing and show everybody the, the cashier's check and all that stuff. So anyway, um, stay tuned. This is, uh, we're almost done with helping. We're almost done with helping. Um, I know a lot of people are like, well, you know, by the way, I have been trying to throw in nice videos and different stuff for y'all. Uh, because I know that unboxing on our, after unboxing after unboxing can get a little monotonous. So, but anyway, listen, to everybody that's, that has uh, that has donated to the cause, thank you, thank you, you guys are awesome. All right, I will be back to do the counting. Everybody, take care.